If we look at this terribly jumbled mess on my work area, we see the original Bell and Howell that I've been working with, and the skeletal Bell and Howell that I've been working with lately, plus a lot of other pieces and parts and junk. In any event, this Bell and Howell right here, old one, has a drive mechanism but it gets more complicated. In this area, we also need to deal with a series of gears that drive all the sprockets. The film path is right here. And the pull-down mechanism at the film gate. This device is a rear projection screen. The image is projected to this front surface mirror where it is reflected from the mirror to this translucent screen where it can then be filmed from the other side. I would like to eliminate this clumsy link in the projection chain. I've started experimenting with this Bell & Howell projector. There's not much left now. But in any event, I've made this camera mount which stabilizes my camera very well and I'm using a Canon M50 camera with a zoom lens reversed on the camera using a reversing ring. And with that camera, I can focus to within about this distance of an object, very close from the front of the lens. But there's a problem. The film is right in this area. The film gate's removed right now. And the camera lens is across here. In fact, I can show you how it looks. The camera is mounted right here. And the camera is stopped. It's prohibited from moving forward toward the film itself by this frame. I've cut it away as much as I can. And at this point... I'm at a loss because I can't get the image large enough. If I could get the camera lens up to this area, this close, I could get an excellent image, but now it's off center, it won't work. So I've come up with several ideas. One is to position the camera behind the film plane and film in this direction, which lets me get much closer to the film itself. So even if it works with this one, I'd be better off using the other one because it will move the film and register the film by itself. So, I've now removed all the guts from the film drive mechanism, so that means I would need to go back to this projector, take the light out here, remove it, make a mounting plate back here and film in that direction and see if I can make it work. My light source would then be over here somewhere. So that's the stage I'm at right now and we'll just have to see how it goes.